It's our hope that the outcome document of COP26 is inclusive of indigenous peoples and their rights, that there's explicit recognition of the crucial rights of indigenous peoples, as well as uh, our desire to ensure that indigenous knowledge is an element and a factor of all activities going forward in relation to climate change. Yeah, from my perspective, um, coming from the small island developing states, I would like to see a commitment to funding that's new and additional for loss and damage. We've been experiencing increased loss and damage across developing countries, and I think this COP is a time for us to move forward in solidarity with new and additional funding for loss and damage. Well, I'd love this COP to acknowledge that net zero for the climate, a durable net zero, has to mean that every tonne of carbon dioxide generated by continued fossil fuel use by 2050 should be balanced by one tonne of carbon dioxide safely and permanently disposed of. Um, I think I want our politicians to show more ambition, of course, um, since in Belgium, for example, there is literally no plan for climate. Um, so I am very ashamed of my country. So I am there to put pressure on this. Um, and also, I think that at COP26, as an activist, you're role is literally to put pressure and to show that you're there and that the young generation is ready. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm hoping. I'm, I hope our politicians will show more ambitions. Esperamos é, com a presença nossa aqui, povos indígenas, é, que o mundo perceba que não é só o meio ambiente. Existem vidas é, dentro deste espaço é, natural do Brasil, do mundo, onde existem povos originários que precisam ser preservados. I think it's very important for my country as a developing country, although we are classified as an oil producing country, I think this is the problem. Uh, because my country is classified as one of the most five vulnerable countries in the world towards the climate change, we need much more finance to rehabilitate, to reconstruct the infrastructure that has been massively destroyed. Well, it's acknowledgement that harm is happening to very vulnerable countries, vulnerable people. They did not cause this, and they're asking for support for loss and damage. So that needs to flow from this COP. Well, there's a lot more energy and acknowledgement that we need to move faster, but sadly, there's not enough action. We're really, really disappointed that yet again, the latest scientific reports will show that we're nearly at 2.4 uh, instead of well below 2 and nearer 1.5, which was the asp you know, which is the scientific goal that we need to stick to. So COP26, um, as other COPs, this is a special one after the, re the release of the IPCC Working Group 1 report, which is red-coded for humans. So it is the responsibility of all governments to pay attention to this report. And so the discussions here, I hope that by the end of the day, all governments will commit to fighting the issues of climate change. Because because we need to cut the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere almost immediately. In fact, our expectation is very high, but particularly if I want to say, uh, we would like to get outcome, very clear outcome on climate finance, loss and damage, and global goal on adaptation. Well, being the DEX officer for NDC, I would like to see uh, a decision on common time front frame for NDC uh, communications. And I also want to see a concrete action on financial mobilization for NDC implementation. These are the two things that is very key to me.